I would now like to take a look at some TV shows that point us to the September 22nd and 23rd dates. The first show is called Third Rock from the Sun, and this episode was from 1996. It mentions that a vaporizing meteor is scheduled to hit the Earth in 2015. And yet everyone on the planet gets all worked up about these pointless little behaviors, blissfully unaware of the great vaporizing meteor due in 2015. Another TV show that gives us a clue of what is to come is called Lost. This show actually first aired right on September 22, 2004, 11 years from September 22, 2015. 11 is a number that means chaos and disorder in biblical numerology. It starts off with an airplane crashing into the earth right on September 22, and then those who survive the crash end up on some strange island. On September 22, 2004, a groundbreaking new series premiered on ABC. They're looking for us in the wrong place. No one's coming for us. It's destiny. I see you in another life, brother. It's been six days. And we're all still waiting. Waiting for someone to come. It's been six days. And we're all still waiting. Waiting for someone to come. What? The island. When did you come here? Oh, no. 69 days. What was the date? What was the date? September 22nd. It was September 22nd. Let's just go back and look at a few of those clips in slow motion. We see the Tau Rat statue that appears to be holding a key, then the turning of the key, followed by the one eyed symbolism and the word Apollo. This is all in reference to Revelation 9 and the opening of the abyss, which leads us to CERN. So, of course, this all has to do with CERN, and uh, even on CERN's logo, as many have exposed as well, you've got the 666 spinning. We see CERN being used by even heavy metal bands like Megadeth. You've got Super Collider there, and this is CERN being shown on the, shown on the album cover. And as I said, it's to do with the transfiguration of the planet. It's the false Jesus, Sananda, uh, coming off the, leeching off the back of Christ. Because, you know, as you know, some of you may know, Christ, the, the transfiguration was to do with Christ. And he temporarily formed a bridge to the Father in the Bible. And this is obviously the inversion of that. It's the transfiguration of their kingdom. It's the birthing of hell on earth. It's the bridge from hell to earth, from the abyss to earth, to break loose uh, the ones that are imprisoned, the spirits, the fallen, as the Bible all describes. And so you see a few different artists using this. Here we've got one called Timeless 2013. And at the top of the pyramid on the capstone, you've got the artist coming out of the smoke, the pit, like in Revelation. And you've got CERN surrounding. It's to do with this energy event. A mystery. A secret. A threshold to the future. Where'd you find this? I've, I've never seen anything like this. One man will break the code and open the door. What is that? It's just donkey. We've opened a doorway to a world we know nothing about. We're reaching into the fabric of the universe at a level we've never done before. This is telling us something that's a key. It could be the, the final point in the standard model, but we know at some level we're pretty sure that the standard model is that, not the, the full picture. So we've kind of completed uh, one part of the story, if you like, and we're, we're on the frontier now. We're on the edge of a new exploration. And this could open up, and this could open up, and this could open up. Uh, maybe we see nothing uh, extraordinary, and we understand that maybe this is the only part of the story that's left. 
or maybe we open up a whole new realm of discovery. Be proud of these results and I hope that they open a very a door and I hope that they open a very a door. Break the code and open the door. Clearly, he's leaving us a code. Some way to reach him. Time or date, maybe? September 23rd? September 23rd. Break the code and open the door. No, my mother's amulet is the key that unlocks the door to the demon world. And I hope that they open a very a door toward a very bright uh, future. Thank you. I would like to point out that there is a demonic festival taking place in Atlanta from September 25th to 27th. Their website shows this key to happiness, which again is a reference to the key to the abyss, which will open at this time when the fifth woe of Revelation 9 takes place. We also recently had a Taco Bell advertisement in which the 923 is flashed on the screen, and at the end of the commercial we see two of the people breaking through a barrier and going to a paradise-like place. There are numerous songs where the 923 date is shown. In 2011, Florence and the Machine released a song called Spectrum that has these lyrics. When we come back, we'll be dressed in black, and you'll scream my name aloud, and we won't eat and we won't sleep. We'll drag bodies from the ground. In the video, we see Florence with the one-eyed symbolism and her clock set at 923. We also have a song by Miley Cyrus that is called 23. In the video, we see numerous times the 9 and 23 hidden together. It is uh, the all-mocking tongue. And then we have Beyonce's song called 7-Eleven that was released in late 2014. On the Jewish calendar, 7-Eleven is September 24th this year. It's the day after the Day of Atonement and the same day that the Foreign Minister of France pointed to as when the climate chaos would begin. I believe that the first woe event in the book of Revelation will take place on 7-11 this year on the Jewish calendar, and the second woe event will take place on 7-11 on the Jewish calendar in 2016. I believe this is why she says 7-11 twice. <laughs> 